Okay, so hey, welcome to the shop. We're working on a boat. Uh, today, I want to talk a little bit about hose, particularly about this wire reinforced or hard wall hose. Uh, we use it all over the boat. We have exhaust hose corrugated to make tight bends. We use it in sanitation hoses, fuel fills, water hose, and it comes in many different sizes for many different purposes. But one thing I see some people struggling with is how to cut this stuff because of the wire reinforcing and uh, particularly how to cut it cleanly and neatly and not leave a meat hook. That little piece of wire hanging out there just waiting for you to walk by. Uh, because when you go through the boat and you let this thing grab hold of you, it doesn't feel like a little piece of wire anymore. Now it feels more like you've been grabbed by this. Meat hooks. So, <clears throat> today I want to share a tip of how to cut this wire reinforced hard wall hose cleanly, quickly, and not leave a meat hook. So give me a minute. Uh, I'm going to get the camera set up for a bird's eye view over the bench and We'll get on with it. Okay, so here we are, bird's eye view of the workbench. All right, the first thing we need to do is gather the things that we need to cut this hose. Okay, so first thing, no, not that. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is get the hose we wanna cut. And just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna cut a small one and a big one. Okay, <clears throat> next thing we need is the tools we're going to use to cut the hose. Uh, I like to use just your average utility knife with a very sharp blade. Now, one uh, tip with these, uh, if you are using this sort of knife, uh, do not be shy about changing the blades. The blades are incredibly sharp when they're new, but they dull very quickly, so don't be shy about changing blades. Now, <clears throat> we need something to cut the wire reinforcing with. Um, so something like this. If you're doing a hose like this, like maybe three quarter, half inch, five eighths, you might be able to get by just using a pair of diagonal wire cutters. That'll do fine. But once you get up into say two inches, three inches, four inches bigger, uh, you're gonna need something a little heavier duty, say something like this. Um, these work very well for this size hose. Now, if you don't have a pair of these laying around. Don't despair. It's okay. You can actually cut this hose this way with a hacksaw. It's not quite as clean and neat, but a hacksaw will work and we'll show you how to do that. The next thing is um, hose clamps. It's optional, but I like to put a hose clamp over the hose and use that as a guide for my blade as I'm cutting. Uh, it helps me to keep the blade from wandering around and making a messy cut. So. There's our materials. Okay, so we get started now. This is a small one. We'll start small and go bigger. This here is just a piece of hard wall wire reinforced three quarter inch wet exhaust hose. Okay, so if I wanted to cut this, first thing I do is make, we note how or where we want the cut to be. Now I like to use a hose clamp as a guide for my blade. It keeps the blade from wandering around. And one of my all-time favorite tools, a six-in-one screwdriver, I'm just going to snug that hose clamp down just a little bit. Okay, now we take our blade and what we want to do is just go in, just push the blade straight in to the hose along the upper edge of the hose clamp here. And we've gone through. Okay. What we do is just move that blade along the hose clamp until we encounter the wire reinforcing. And what will happen when you encounter that is the blade will try to deflect either upwards away from the hose clamp or downward toward the hose clamp depending on the direction of the cut. And what that means is you've hit the wire and the blade is being pushed off course. So when that happens, just like it is now, I take my blade out, I scoot up a little bit, just a quarter inch or so, and go back in and we've bypassed that wire reinforcing. And we just cut right along our hose clamp until we encounter the other side of that wire reinforcing. Now, 
Once we get all the way around, we can move our hose clamp out of the way. We have our wire, diagonal wire cutters, and we're going to just cut that away, get rid of the waste. Now this is the trick. We've got this wire hanging out here. This is our meat hook. This is what we don't want. So we can either come in and trim it as close to the hose as we can, which means it's just going to spring out again and wait for that someone to walk by and grab them, or we can cut it off down inside the hose. So what we do is we take our cutters and we come in like that, perpendicular to the wire and down inside the hose. And we just cut, squeeze and cut and pull the wire, get rid of the meat hook. There. Now you have a nice, clean cut with no meat hook. That wire is trapped down inside of the hose and it's not coming out. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, so that was a small hose. Now let's do something a little bit bigger. This right here is just a piece of uh, two inch uh, fuel fill hose and it is wire reinforced or hard wall. So what we do, same as before, I will just take a hose clamp. That's my preference. Just to use a hose clamp as a guide for my knife so it doesn't wander around too much. So let's say we've made our mark. We snug up our hose clamp. It doesn't have to be incredibly tight just so that it won't, won't move around. We take our utility knife, very sharp blade, there again, and just enter in the hose along the edge of the hose clamp, or a guide. And we push in, and we just cut until we encounter the wire. And when we encounter the wire, we just move the blade a quarter of an inch down the hose. Now, this way we're just moving along our hose clamp. Until we've gone all the way around. that away. Now with the hose this size, um, this we're probably going to struggle to get a good clean cut out of this. So that's when this comes into play. Heavy duty wire cutters. Cut that, get rid of the waste. Get our hose clamp guide out of the way. And there's our meat hook. This is what we do not want to leave behind. And we want to trap it in the hose so that it can't ever possibly come out and grab somebody. So there again, we come in as far as we can, perpendicular to the wire, make the cut, pull the meat hook out of the way. Now we have a nice, clean cut with no meat hook. Okay, so I mentioned before that to cut the wire, if you're doing a small hose, half inch, five eighths, three quarter maybe, this set of diagonal wire cutters will do great. Anything bigger than that, you're probably going to need a set of these. Now, if you don't have a set of these heavy duty wire cutters laying around, that's okay. You can use a hacksaw, and we'll show you that right now. So, we have here a piece of two inch exhaust water hose corrugated and with a big meat hook out there just waiting for somebody to come by. So there again, all we do, just like we did with our wire cutters, just put that blade perpendicular to the wire and we cut and cut and cut and cut until we get through that wire and it pops out. So once again, we have a nice clean cut on our hose, no meat hook. It's not quite as clean as the cutters or as quick as the cutters, but a hacksaw will work if that's all you got.
Okay, so that's our show. It's kind of a short one. Maybe we have a few minutes to answer some mail. We got any letters in the bag? Got a letter in the bag? We have a letter. This letter comes all the way from Terrifying Falls, North Dakota, from the Honorable, Right Honorable Justice Phineas Weatherall. And he writes, Dear Working on a Boat, Love the show. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, sheer perfection, blah, 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 blah. Pure genius. You know, we, we get that. We get that a lot. Um, okay, so his question down here. He wants to know about standard certifications, particularly about IMO standard certifications. What exactly is IMO standard certifications really mean? Well, I can answer that. That is when you're in the boat yard and you ask somebody who's working on your boat, hey, is that installation compliant with the standards? And he says, in my opinion, in my opinion, IMO, get it? What? What do you know about funny? Hey, hey, they're laughing out there. I hear them. Yeah, they're laughing. Okay, so that's our show. So um, keep working on your boat.